Available now. Link below. Brace yourselves for a shocking expose that will leave you questioning the very foundations of our nation's security. In this special report, we uncover the sinister truth behind the chaos at our southern border where millions pour across unchecked and illegal immigrants find themselves better off than law-abiding citizens. Senator John Kennedy fiercely confronts DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas exposing a twisted agenda that prioritizes political gain over the safety of our nation. As Kennedy digs deeper, the audacity of the situation becomes clear. Every illegal immigrant counts towards congressional reapportionment and electoral votes. Is it mere coincidence or a calculated move by the Biden administration? The implications are staggering, the consequences dire. Don't miss my final thought where I reveal the urgent call to action that could determine the future of our country. So stay tuned for this explosive special report. Now, folks, before I dive into this report on the border crisis, a quick word from our fantastic sponsor, Get the Tea. Just like how we need strong leadership to protect our borders, we need to fortify our bodies against the daily onslaught of environmental toxins. Get the Tea offers unique supplements and herbal teas to help you do just that. With beach season around the corner, their Apple Cider Plus is a must-try, but my personal favorite is their signature tea. I have a monthly subscription, so I never run out, and trust me, this stuff works. So visit GetTheTea.com and use code NEXTNEWS. That's code NEXTNEWS for an extra 10% off. GetTheTea.com and use code NEXTNEWS. You'll find the links down below. Now, in a stunning display of political theater, Senator John Kennedy delivered a scathing rebuke of DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas during a recent Senate Appropriations Committee hearing. The focus of the hearing was meant to be on Biden's 2025 budget request for the DHS, but Kennedy wasted no time in cutting to the heart of the matter, the disastrous state of our southern border and Mayorkas' role in perpetuating the crisis. Now, Kennedy, known for his southern charm and his sharp wit, held nothing back as he laid bare the facts surrounding the border catastrophe. He began by explaining in detail why most Republicans in Congress and a majority of the American people have lost faith in America's ability to secure our nation's borders. And he appointed to the millions of illegal immigrants who have poured across the border unchecked, a situation he likened to an open, bleeding wound. Watch this. Now, my Democratic colleagues are going to try to sweep your impeachment under the rug and violate 200 years of Senate precedent in doing it. I, I don't think that they will be able to sweep the issue, maybe your impeachment, but not the issue, under a rug as big as the United States of America. Again, it gives me no joy in saying this. I think m well more than a majority of the American people think that uh, as a result of your behavior and President Biden's behavior, our southern border is an open, bleeding wound. I think they believe that uh, our southern border is chaotic. I think a vast majority of the American people believe that a lot of it is political. I think a vast majority of the American people believe that it is chaotic by design and that, uh, and that, that all of this is intentional. And, and I think a, while a vast majority of, of the American people who don't trust you um, believe in legal immigration, they don't believe in illegal immigration. And they think you do. And they think President Biden does. And they think that's why the border is open. And they think that your attitude and President Biden's attitude is that uh, wh while they may be poorer under President Biden, that they're stupid enough to believe you and the president when you say that it's not your problem. Um, I think that needed to be said. Isn't it a fact Mr. Secretary, that uh, the number of illegal immigrants that you and the President allow into our country um, counts for congressional district reapportionment? Senator, I'm not sure I understand your question, but I can surely share with you that I disagree with its phrasing. Isn't it true, Mr. Secretary, that the number of illegal immigrants that you and President Biden have allowed into our country 
uh, counts for allocating electoral votes? I, I, uh, same answer. Okay. You don't know? I, I don't understand um, your question. The, Never crossed the notion, your mind? The notion, Senator, that uh, we uh, intend to allow um, illegal immigration is nothing short of preposterous. So you and do understand my question. And if I may, it is disrespectful to the extraordinarily hard work that we perform and far more importantly, that the personnel in the Department of Homeland Security and across this administration perform to stem illegal immigration, build lawful, safe, and orderly pathways, and invest in a working system. And we only wish, we only wish that that bipartisan legislation, about which I have not heard a critical term, Mr. President, um, Mr. Secretary, you're using up my time. You do this every single time. You do this every single time. And it's a fact, and you know it, and I know it. Wow. He didn't stop there. He delved into the sinister motivations behind the Biden administration's lax border policy, suggesting that the chaos was not merely an accident or oversight, but rather a calculated move designed to benefit the Democrat Party. He asserted that every legal immigrant who crosses the border is counted for congressional district reapportionment and electoral vote allocation, a fact that raises serious questions about the true agenda behind the administration's actions. When America's attempt to do scold Kennedy for allegedly impugning and disrespecting the integrity of the DHS, the senator was having nothing of it. He fired back, reminding America that the facts speak for themselves. Mr. Secretary, you're using up my time. You do this every single time. That's what he said. His frustration palpable. He said it's a fact, and I know it, the, that the more people you allow into our country illegally, the more people are accounted for reapportionment, and the more people that you allow into our country illegally, the more people are accounted for for allocating electoral votes. Now, Kennedy's words hit like a thunderbolt, exposing the uncomfortable truth that many in Washington would rather ignore. The senator's assertion that illegal immigrants are now better off than law-abiding American citizens under the Biden administration's policies is a damning indictment of the current state of affairs, and it's a reality that should shock and outrage every patriotic American, regardless of political affiliation. Now, the senator's relentless questioning of Mayorkas was a masterclass in holding those in power accountable. He refused to be cowed by Mayorkas' attempts to deflect and obfuscate, instead pressing forward with the facts and demanding answers. It's a refreshing change from the all-too-common practice of politicians dancing around the issues and avoiding direct confrontation. But perhaps the most striking moment of the exchange came when Kennedy reminded Mayorkas of the consequences of his actions. And that is a result of your policy. I don't hate you for it. I don't hate anyone. But that's why you're being impeached. That's what he said, his voice filled with a mix of anger and disappointment, and my colleagues may try to cover it up, but they can't cover up the facts. Those facts, as Kennedy so succinctly put it, are that a majority of Americans, they believe our southern border is an open bleeding wound, and that the chaos is by design. It's a damning indictment of the Biden administration's priorities and a clear sign that change is desperately needed. So as we look to the future, it's clear that the only way to stem the tide of illegal immigration is to restore order to our borders is the Embracing of the America First agenda embodied by President Trump, the taste of freedom that Trump 2024 promises is the antidote to the poison of the Biden administration's disastrous policies. It's a vision of the future where national security isn't traded for political gains, where the interests of American citizens are put first, and where the rule of law is respected and upheld. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It is time for my final thought. The situation at our southern border is not just a crisis, it's a betrayal of the American people. The Biden administration, led by the disgraced Alejandro Mayorkas, has prioritized political gain over national security, and the consequences are dire. Illegal immigrants now find themselves better off than the very citizens our government is sworn to protect, and the border chaos is a direct result of policies designed to benefit the Democrat Party, not the American people. This is not a mere difference of opinion or a petty political squabble. It is a fight for the very soul of our nation, and we must demand accountability, we must demand change, and we must demand leaders who put America first. The time for action is now, and the stakes couldn't be higher. So will you join the fight to save our republic? Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.